us go to the mountain of the Lord. Let us clap our hands in song. Come, you who test for serenity and truth, bring your heart and come along. Blessed are you who are spiritually poor, for the King of heaven is yours. Happy are you who are mourning and bewailing. Lord will comfort his people. Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord. Let us clap our hands in song. Come, you who thirst for serenity and truth, bring your heart and come along. Let us offer this Mass for the following intentions. This Mass is offered for Divyavani TV Carpus Fund donor, Kadasani Mary Rachel, Kumma Reddy George Reddy, Abhishek Reddy, Kadasani Bindu, Chia Reddy, for good health and good future, thanking God for all the graces received by family members. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Let us also pray for all the Tifiyavani TV channel donors. Let us begin our celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends in Christ, we are coming close to the end of the liturgical year. And as we are closing the liturgical year, we hear in the scripture readings, the end of the world or the end times. And the end times really mean the end of the world or end of our personal life. And at the time of end, how are we going to present ourselves? Are we going to be with Christ our Savior and experience the salvation or are we going to be in a situation where we are not prepared ourselves, not knowing exactly what Christ is in our lives? Today, dear friends in Christ, as we are participating in this Holy Eucharist, let us introspect our personal lives and examine ourselves and see how much we are clinging and united with Christ our Savior and prepared ourselves to receive the salvation. If not, let us feel sorry and ask God's pardon and mercy and make ourselves worthy participants in this banquet of love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Almighty and ever living Father, grant us, we pray, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the prophet Daniel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. A reading from the prophet Daniel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. At the time shall arise Michel, the great prince who has charge of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never has been since there was a nation till the time. But at that time your people shall be delivered, everyone whose name shall be found written in the book. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky above, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
your response shall be, Preserve me, O God. Preserve me, O God. For in you I take refuge. For in you I take refuge. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my Lord. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my time right hand I shall not be moved. Your response, Preserve me, O God. Preserve me, O God. For in you I take refuge. For in you I take refuge. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to hell, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Your response, Preserve me, O God. Preserve me, O God. For in you I take refuge. For in you I take refuge. Second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 11 to 14 and 18. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 11 to 14 and 18. Every priest stands daily at his service, offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, waiting from that time until his enemies should be made a footstool for his feet. For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. Where there is forgiveness of this, there is no longer any offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. First, the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13, verses 24 to 32. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory, and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branches become tender and puts out its leaves, you know that summer is near. 
so also when you see these things taking place you know that he is near at the very gates truly i say to you this generation will not pass away until all these things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away but concerning that day or that hour no one knows not even the angels in heaven nor the son but only the father the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ to your brothers and sisters in christ jesus once two priests were playing and as the game was progressing they have stopped for a break and in the break one of the priests asked the other one suppose now if we receive the message that the end of the world is coming immediately what will you do the other priest answered saying i will immediately kneel down and pray and ask for forgiveness and then he asked his companion then what will you do and that priest replied saying i will be normal i'll continue playing my game as usual and in fact dear friends in christ this small incident gives us a great message for every one of us today because the readings are very clearly saying we don't know when the end of the time comes the last verses of today's gospel reading really speak saying no one knows at the time and hour of this end not even the angels not even the son of man but only the father knows when the end is going to come and which means dear friends in christ in each and every moment of our lives we need to be ever ready and be prepared to receive this end and that's why the conversation between the two priests says that one priest said i will kneel down and pray and ask for forgiveness which means that priest is not prepared for the end but rather the beautiful answer given by the other one is i will continue to play my game which means that priest is already prepared himself asking for forgiveness and being ever ready to receive the father the son at the end of the time and today dear friends we need to also take this message very seriously which means that we need to prepare ourselves to receive the son of man into our lives in each and every moment we don't know when the end of the time comes and we should not really wait for that hour but rather every moment in our lives we need to make the preparation and we need to remember that we need to always cling to Christ our savior we need to be united with him and at the same time we need to live in his presence and there dear friends we are prepared and ever ready to receive him and how we need to prepare how we need to be united with christ and how we need to cling to christ our savior and live in his presence in our lives and here dear friends in christ a story comes to my mind in hell one man was really crying out day and night asking almighty father save me i am unable to bear the fire the heat the pain in this hell screaming aloud crying out day and night asking father have mercy on me the pain is very severe 
I am unable to overcome this agony. Save me, screaming out and crying day in and day out. And at that time, God the Father called the angel and said, just open his record and see how much good he has done because he is screaming day and night. And the angel went and opened the records and came to the heavenly father and said, Father, this is the record here. And the heavenly father asked, are there any things which he has done, the good things in his lifetime? And the angel just showed the record and saying, he has given some strings of onions to the poor. And God the Father asked, from those strings of onions you prepare a rope and lower it to the hell and ask this man to hold that one and come up. And listening to the command of the God the Father, the angel prepared a rope from the strings of these onions and lowered the rope into the hell and asked this man to catch that and to come up. And as he was holding the rope and coming up, the other people saw that and they ran and they caught hold of his legs as the angel was pulling the rope because it was not that strong enough. The rope broke and the man fell back into the hell. And dear friends, again this story really gives us the message that the man could not do the good deeds where he can go into heaven along with his companions. The man could not do the good deeds in his lifetime where he could go into heaven along with his companions. Today, in our lifetime, we need to take this message very seriously. Every one of us, we really like to be united with Christ our Savior. We desire to live in his presence. And also, we want to cling on to Christ always, but without good deeds. We cannot really be united with Christ. And without Christ, we cannot really experience the salvation. And without being with Christ, we cannot prepare ourselves for the end of the time. So dear friends in Christ, we need to do a lot of good deeds in our lifetime. And we all very well know what are these good deeds. The gospel itself says in one word, love. And when we have that love, and we always do the good deeds, love gives or brings from our heart compassion, mercy, forgiveness. And love always takes away from our lives selfish attitude, egoism, jealousy, terroristic attitude. And all these things will be taken away if we have love in our lives. So friends in Christ, today in this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask the Almighty Father to fill every one of us with his love. And so that we may have strength and courage to cling ourselves with Christ, to be united with him and to live in his presence by doing the good deeds. So that these good deeds may really help us to go into heaven along with our companions and these good deeds will be making every one of us to be prepared to receive Christ our Savior at the end of the times and these good deeds will make us to receive the salvation through Christ. So let us pray and ask the Almighty God to be with us always in strengthening to live a good life. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, life everlasting. Amen. God, our loving Father, we ask you to bless our Holy Father, bishops, priests and religious. Fill them with wisdom and knowledge so that they may help the entire church to be prepared to receive you at the time when you come once again we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer loving father we ask you to have mercy and compassion on the entire humanity merciful father give us good health drive away all the diseases especially the coronavirus may every human person experience your protecting care and good health joy and happiness we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer god our father we ask you to receive the intentions of the people who offer this mass may they always live in your presence and be prepared to receive you and experience joy happiness and good health we pray to the lord Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we ask you to bless all the Divyavani TV channel donors. Bless them abundantly in each and everything that they do. And may they always be ever ready to receive in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us all pause for a while and pray for our special intentions. God, our loving Father, receive these, our prayers and petitions, and give us your grace sufficiently, and give us wisdom and knowledge, so that we may always be ever ready and be prepared to receive you into our lives. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Yours as we stand at the table you send Yours as we eat the bread of us can forget We hear the signs of your life with us yet We are yours, we are yours Take our breath, we ask you to our hearts, we love you, take our lives, oh Father, we are yours, we are yours. Your holy people stand lost in your blood, spirit fill yet angry with our your Oh, though we are, we have brought ourselves to you. We are yours, we are yours. Take our breath, we ask you, take our hearts. We love you, take our lives. Oh, Father, we are yours. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and our good of all his holy church. Almighty and ever-living Father, grant, we pray, 
that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sins by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you o father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith So Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us your peace Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you holy. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living Father, we have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray to Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth 
the mass is ended thanks be to god of liberation my lord he still has to feel your power the blind and the deaf the dumb and the maim all need to feel your healing touch the world stand in need of liberation my lord He still has to learn to love those who have first but refuse to hear the humanity has done there are those who have first but refuse to hear the cry of those in agony Will stand in need of liberation, my Lord. He still has to feel your power. The blind and the deaf, the dumb and the maimed, all need to feel your healing touch. Will stand in need of liberation, my Lord. He still has to learn to love.